Hi, in this video, I want to show you how I recorded and mixed the song Freedom. I made a video of why this song exists. Uh, I will link that in the end of the video and also in the description, of course. Now let's listen to some parts of the songs so we know what we are getting into. We share your fight, we show This is before mastering, so this is the raw mix, so to speak. Uh, I had to make this song quickly. I wrote it quickly, I recorded it quickly, I mixed it quickly. And why, you will know if you see the other video. Now, let's see what I've done. We have some drums, and I used Logic Drummer, but I edited it a lot. I changed the regions to MIDI, so I can edit the score editor or the piano roll. I did both. It changed velocities, took away hits, added hits, and so on. The drums now, they sound like this. Remember, this is programmed drums. Let's open the mixer and I will show you what I've done. Uh, when you bounce the tracks in Logic Drummer, you can bounce them so you have every track separate, which I did. So I have a kick in, kick out, uh, and I send them to a bass drum bus where I have this front door. Uh, it's a saturation transformer thing. Low end from Analog Obsession. Free plugin, I made a video about Analog Obsession. I will link that in the description as well. Great free plugins. And then an SSL console from uh, Brainworks. I did the same with the snare, top, bottom, sort of, high at nothing, toms, just some EQ to get rid of some resonances, overhead, just an EQ. Uh, I did an, a separate cymbal track. I needed some more cymbal hits on, yeah, well, some hits. Uh, and then uh, the room, I just EQ'd, took away some mid frequencies. And then use this free plugin from uh, Klang Helm. Uh, really good plugin on uh, room mics. We have a leakage mic. I compress that a lot with this Yala uh, thing from Analog Obsession. Good compressor. And then I also made my own fake room with this Ocean Way Studios from Universal Audio. And all drums together sounds like this. Uh, also, I have some parallel compression on the drums. I didn't use the kick and snare parallel, but I used the overall parallel where all the drums go through this parallel compression. The Acme Opticum from Plugin Alliance. A really dirty compressor. Love it. And some distortion on the drums also with this Supercharger GT from Native Instruments. We can listen to them separately in a little bit, but all drums now sound like this. Just the parallel compression on the drums. really pumping and it's blended in just a little bit and then this distortion just makes uh, the drums a little bit more alive uh, after that we have a lot of tracks let me show you here first we have a lot of drums taiko and uh, other things mostly from native instruments they sound like this now trying to make the song powerful and I hate the word epic, but yeah, you know what I mean. Some cymbal swells, some white nose, noise sweeps, claps. I clap myself and I also use the plugin uh, Hand Clap Studio from Robotic Bean. Good plugin, convenient. Shaker, live played, not quantized at all. Some tambourine and uh, some tambourine hits not quantized at all either. Percussion and uh, drums, 
together. Shall we listen to that? Some things are live and some things are programmed. Uh, and that difference makes the song a little bit more alive, in my opinion. The bass is a live bass played on my Washburn uh, five-string bass. Uh, nothing special about that. And then I also uh, copied that track, so I have... Uh, I have a bass amp on this track. Just a little bit rounder. Nothing special about that either. There are some guitars. The guitar I used was this one. This is just an, this is a, an Epiphone uh, Les Paul. It's a really good example of an F Epiphone. So I'm really happy with this guitar. Easy to play, sounds good. And I was lazy with the guitars. I actually recorded them DI'd and then used a uh, plugin for amplification. In this case, the Amplitube 5 from IK Multimedia. <laughs> Uh, there's another picking guitar also, also recorded DI'd. I didn't think that, that that distortion was enough, so I also played a Rhodes sample. With some distortion on it. Uh, the main instrument of the song is a piano. I used the contact library grandeur piano played on my Roland A800 Pro I have down here uh, it sounds like this and as you can see there's an EQ before the compression and then there's a compressor in this case the Fairchild 670 and then there's an EQ after. I needed to get rid of more bottom end after the compression. Uh, things just happening when you're mixing sometimes that makes this. Uh, we have a rhythmic synthesizer, sounds like this. Distorted. In context, you, that fills up the rhythm together with the piano. And then some pads uh, and a choir synthesizer. The pads sounds like this. There's actually five pads. They come and go throughout the song, so they're not, not playing all the time. The choir synthesizers, there's uh, from uh, uh, East West and from the contact library, Native Instruments, sounds like this. Sounds quite boring by themselves, but together with the pads. They do something more than the pads could do. I have some sam sampled violins from Logic's Studio Strings, so nothing special about those. Except I play them, they are not quantized at all. I play them, uh, and that is actually a big difference. A short harp sample into the chorus. And that's all the instruments. The vocals, I have a lead vocal. I have a second lead vocal because they are overlapping each other. I have doubles, a lot of doubles. And this uh, I it treated a lot. I sang them doubled. I sang them 
an octave down, I sang them an octave up, and then I pitched them to the same octave. So it would sound more like more voices. We see you now. We hear you shout. Sounds really awful uh, by itself. And then a lot of background uh, vocals. Uh, there's chorus vocals. There's uh, uh, actually the chorus vocal do the same thing as the choir pad. Uh, let me show you. A lot of reverb, as you can hear. Uh, and a lot of background vocals coming in and out of the song. At the end of the song, I have this mantra thing. Uh, I, I say whatever I want to say. I choose the clothes I want to wear and so on. I sang it myself uh, like this. Say whatever I want to say. Choose the clothes I want to wear. And then I also whispered it. Then I sang it more times and changed the distance to the microphone. Also turned my head away from the microphone. Say whatever I want to say. Choose the clothes I want to wear. But I needed more voices. So I took... One second. So I took this guy. This is a Zoom, Zoom H4N. Old piece. It's more than 10 years now. Uh, I took this with me to my to two of my choirs i taught them the lyrics and the melody and then i put headphones on myself and was uh, hit, hitting my foot into to the ground to have the tempo for the choir and then they sang that part as well so i have my gospel choir singing it like this And then I have my choir decibel singing it like this. Say whatever I want to say, choose the clothes I want to wear. And then I had them say it, talk, talk that. And uh, the choir's talking is what's, what's ending the song. And that made the the ending as powerful as I wanted it to be. My template is a lot of buses, a lot of sounds, a lot of parallel compression, and are there parallel buses? Um, for me, it's logical. I have made a video about how my template looks like, but it had changed. It had has changed so much since then. So I probably. Have to do another video if you're interested in that please tell me in the comments subscribe also that is helpful um but i will show you a little bit what i now just what i send my tracks to uh so all my tracks go sometimes first to a bus and then they go to these stems I have drum stems, percussion, bass, guitar, keyboard, orchestra, lead, background vocals, and effects. On these stems, I have this console from Analog Obsession. You can choose the console type, gray, blue, and black. I don't know what, what they are. I like the black. Uh, I think I have the black. No, I have the gray there. Uh, yeah. I, I think I changed it on the drums. Yeah, and then we have a, a transformer. If you transform a sound here, you, the more input you have, the more distortion you get from this plugin. And then I change the output and lower the output. And I also lower the output with this master deck from Plugin Alliance. I lower the output 8 dBs. Uh, and that is because I don't want to overload my master bus, which comes later, and still be able to have a lot of fader 
on each track uh, without blowing out the master bus. On the master bus, uh, I have first an EQ that wasn't engaged at all here. Uh, I use the Pultec EQ from uh, uh, Universal Audio. Uh, Shadow Hills compression compressor from uh, Plugin Alliance. I like that on the master bus. And that was the thing I used on this song. When I mastered it, I did a couple of other things. The microphones I used was this one, the Shure SM7B. A lot of the, a lot of the background vocals are made from this uh, microphone. But I also used that microphone, which is uh, ADK Hamburg edition. They don't make that microphone anymore, but I like it. Uh, it's not too trebly. It's not too harsh. I like that it's soft. I have more expensive microphones, but I actually like that microphone more often. And especially in a small room like this, that, that sounds good. Otherwise, most of the instruments are software instruments, except for the vocals, guitar bass, and some percussion. That was a short walkthrough of my song, Freedom. This song is out now everywhere. I will link it to YouTube and streaming services if you want to hear it. This song is about, it's called Freedom, and it is about equality and human rights. And especially now for the people of Iran that are fighting against their fascist Nazi government. Yes, I said Nazi, because what the fascist government of Iran is doing and Nazi Germany did do is frightening, frighteningly similar, frighteningly similar. Be their voice. Share this song if you don't have a voice of your own or make a version of this song yourself. Send me the link and I will try to spread it as much as I can. And also I will send it to my Iranian friends to spread the song. Make your own version. Links to sheet music and lyrics are in the description. You will find it on my webpage. When we say record in Sweden, we say spela in. Spela in. Until next time, we'll do that. I